Hello students! So today we will be discuss our quarter one, uh, lesson one regarding our caregiving and this is the use and maintenance of tools, equipment, and paraphernalia. In this lesson, you will study on how we can maintain tools, equipment, and paraphernalia. Ayan. But before that, let us uh, have a uh, terms which is the a caregiver ayan so if you are familiar about this ayan caregiver is the one who is qualified to provide personal care independently or with minimal supervision to children to elderly or people with special needs ayan so this will uh, talk on how we can maintain those tools and equipment uh, in caregiving ayan so let's start let's start um there are lots of tools and equipment and even paraphernalia in caregiving ayan uh, the first tools that we are going to talk about is air pot ayan so are you familiar with this okay air pot is an a vessel usually rounded which is used for holding liquid to maintain heat or coldness ayan this uh help caregiver to minimize uh, i mean maximize their work ayan so ginagamit ito for holding liquid to maintain heat or coldness. Ayan. So, instead of magagawa, magpapakulo pa ng mga bagay-bagay through the use of air pot, mas, mas mapapadali ang trabaho ng isang caregiver. Next, we have our blenders. Ayan. So, at home, uh, we usually see or um, meron lahat halos ng blender. What is blender? A blender is a kitchen and laboratory appliance which is used to mix, puree, or emulsify food and other substances. Lalo na sa matatanda if they are not allowed to eat heavy meal. Ayan, so they will use a blender to mix their food ayan, easily. Ayan, so especially if they are uh, using or uh, eat or drink uh, vitamins na hindi nila masyadong kabisado through the use of blender, magagamit ng isang caregiver yan. Ayan, next we have our coffee maker. Ayan, if you are a caregiver who taking care of an elderly, ayan, dapat meron tayong coffee maker. Ayan, it's easy to um, do. Ayan, and make a coffee with this coffee maker. A coffee maker is an electric countertop appliance that brews hot coffee automatically. Ayan, without uh, accessing time or ayan, without um, time. Magagawa natin at magagawa ng madalian. Ayan, so lalo na yung mga caregiver. Ayan, so aside dun sa trabaho nila na mamadali, Ayan, kailangan nilang mag-provide ng uh, iba't ibang gamit wherein makakatulong din sa kanila. So, as a caregiver, you are allowed to perform very well uh, um, and use these tools. Ayan. So, next, we have the chopping board. So, in a caregiving, you are allowed to uh, use a chopping board. So, what is chopping board? A chopping board is a flat wooden or plastic board where meat and vegetable can be cut. Ayan. So, while you are uh, care have uh, while you are uh, taking care of your patients or um, an elderly or children, ayan, you are able to use this also. Ayan. It helps you to what cut any ingredients that you will going to prepare. Next, we have our electric knife. Ayan. So, why we need to use this, especially a caregiver? An electric knife is a kitchen device which is used to slicing food. It requires less physical effort than an ordinary knife and makes neater slices. Ayan. For a, a caregiver, ayan, they are allowed to use a um, electric knife to... Um, Make sure mapapadali yung trabaho. Ayan. So, uh, if ano naman, um, 
um, ayaw nilang gamitin ito, pwede naman mano-mano natin silang gamitan. Ayan, gamitin. And next, we have the electric can opener. So, we can buy yung hindi naman, ano, yung handheld tool lang siya. Pero, we have electric can opener. An electric can opener is a very useful device which is used to open can goods with ease and accuracy. So, imagine uh, using this uh, electric uh, tools, mas mapapadali yung trabaho ng isang caregiver. Ayan. They are a multitask uh, person. Eh. Ayan. Employee. Ayan. So, they are allowed to use these tools na, mang, na pwede mapadali ang kanilang trabaho. Next, we have the food processor. So, aside dun sa blender na ginagawa natin or ginagamit, we can use the food processor especially in caregiving. A food processor is a multitasking tool which is used to slide, dice, or whip food ingredients. Ayan. So, aside, if you don't have blender, you can use the food processor. Ayan. Next, we have the food tongue. So, napaka-importante nito in caregiving. A food tongue is an instrument with two hing or sprung uh, uh, spring arms for grasping and holding. Ayan. It is used to hold food ayan, or to serve food. Ayan, so napaka-importante din yan. Next, ladle. Ayan, so if you are going to prepare um, soups, ayan, ganyan, pwede natin silang gamitin. A ladle is a long-handled spoon with deep uh, bowl at the end of for serving food, specially brought or soup. And if you are taking care about uh, elderly, ayan, napaka-importante mag-prepare tayo ng mga soup. Ayan, true so, ayan, magagamit natin yung ladle. Next, we have a microwave oven. For you to easy uh, to cook, ayan, yung mga kaka, um, i-prepare natin para sa ating mga um, pasyente, mga ganyan. So, microwave oven can be used. A microwave oven is an oven that used to microwave to cook or heat food. It's easily for you to prepare food by using microwave oven. Next, we have the stove. Ayan. So, this is the most important tool in caregiving. A stove is an appliance in which electricity, gas is utilized to supply heat to be used for cooking and reheating. Ayan. Um, in caregiving, hindi naman natin kailangan, uh, dapat i-discuss nyo lang yung, or about uh, about the thermometer that we will going to use. No, maybe we need to... Uh, um, study this because um, if you are a caregiver, you are allowed to do everything inside the house. Ayan, even in preparing, serving your um, uh, patient. Next, we have uh, equipment. Ayan, so bottle, um, another tools, equipment, and paraphernalia for cleaning, washing, and ironing. Ayan. First bottle is sterilizer. Ayan. A butter sterilizer, uh, sterili, a sterilizer is an apparatus which is used to destroy microorganisms in containers like feeding bottle through boiling. Ayan. So, uh, as, um, another important uh, equipment ayan, for cleaning, washing, and ironing, this is bottle sterilizer. Ayan. So, instead of magpakulo ka pa ng tubig to remove those microorganisms, ayan, you can use bottle sterilizer. Next, we have the broom. Ayan. So, inside the house, you need to bring or you, you need to have this kind of equipment. A uh, broom is a tool which is used for sweeping dirt. It consists of twigs and bristles bound together and attached to a handle. Ayan. To remove dirt ayan, in, uh, on the floor, ayan. gagamitan natin through a broom. Next, we have the clothes hanger. Ayan. So, if you're about to wash their uh, clothes, ayan. so you need to prepare hanger. Ayan. Next. Next. And wait. Let me. Next, we have our dishwasher. A dishwasher is a mechanical device for cleaning dishes, eating utensils, and spot. Ayan, just like for example, you're about to do another task and you don't have time to wash them. Ayan. So, dishwasher is a good uh, equipment ayan, for you to lessen your work. Ayan. So, dishwasher, ayan, is a machine or mechanical type, ayan, used for cleaning dishes, ayan. 
uh, for me it is good to use this if you are lots of work inside the house pero if kaya naman hindi naman magaan ay hindi naman masyadong pagod yung trabaho mo I will allowing you to do it as a manual ayan kasi mas mapapa mapapanatili natin yung cleanliness talaga eh ayan next we have the dryer a dryer is a machine for apparatus that removes moisture through ventilation or heat ayan so another equipment next we have a dust pan ayan together with our broom napaka importante ng dust pan ayan next we have the duster especially if matatanda ang ating uh, inaalagaan ayan so, we need to prepare or have this kind of tool ayan, or any equipment. Duster is a cloth of brush which is used to removing dirt and dust. Especially if you are wiping out your uh, corridor, ayan, yung mga inside and outside the mm, um, room. Ayan, pwede natin silang gamitin. Yeah, next, we have the flat iron. You're about to do a task. Ayan. So, hindi naman lagi dun sa mga um, matatanda lang yung trabaho mo. Diba? So, they will allow you to um, um, ayan, prepare the clothes. Ayan. So, flat iron, a clothes iron is an electronic appliance which is used along with an ironing board to ironing, a uh, two iron or press clothing fabric and the uh, draperies. Ayan. Next, we have the ironing board. Ayan. So, aside for our ironing, we need to have this. Ayan. Next, we have the laundry and sorting basket. Ayan. If you are a caregiver, um, ito na yung sinasabi nila na multitask ka. You're not about to taking care about an elderly, mga children, ganyan. So, you're about to do a very different uh, types of um, um, work inside the house. Ayan. Next, vacuum cleaner. Ayan. For you to help uh, and make an easy work. Ayan, or easy job, you have to use vacuum cleaner. Uh, it's an electrical appliance which is used for cleaning floors and carpets and even uh, fa uh, furniture functions or sanctions. Next, we have a washing machine. Ayan, if you are allowed to do a ironing um, job, ayan, pwede na, uh, gagamitin at gagawa din tayo. Under here, which is washing machine, you're allowed to wash their clothes. Ayan. Regularly, ayan, a washing machine is an electric appliance which is uh, used for washing clothes and linen. Ayan. So, aside to the tools and equipment inside the house, these are the most uh, special. I mean, these are the most important uh, tools and equipment ayan, for taking vital signs. Ayan, lalo na sa matatanda, if they have a fresh uh, a prision, ganyan, Yan yung mga kailangan natin. Ayan, you are going to monitor them one by one. So, you need this kind of parapernalia. First, we have the BP apparatus aneroid spigmo manometer. So, if you have tried, have you tried to experience um, using a spigmo manometer? Ayan, so if not, I will show you a video on how we can use a spigmo manometer. Brands with manometers and aeroid type is also known as pocket BP monitor. It is a handheld portable blood pressure measuring device. It consists of an inflatable cuff, a measuring unit gauge, which is a number dial having reading up to 300 mm Hg. It indicates systolic and diastolic pressure. There's a mechanism for inflation bulb with valve. Naran Medical offers complete inflation system in a pouch. For more information, you may log on to www.naran.com. 
और www.surgicalshop.com Okay, so that will be the video. Hope you learned something from that. Next, uh, this is an aneroid unit. is mercury free and consists on a cuff that can be applied with one hand or self-testing, a stethoscope that is built or in a touch and a valve that inflates that deflates automatically with the data displayed on an easy to read gauge, uh, gauge that will function in any position. Ayan. So uh, especially if you see nurse in a uh, uh, hospital, ayan. so nakikita natin yan. They are about to use that to monitor our ayan, yung ating mga vital sign. Ayan, next, we have our BP apparatus mercurial. Ayan, it's pigmo manometer. So, ayan. So as you can see on the picture posted there, ayan, a mercury-based unit has a manually inflatable cuff. Attached by tubing to the unit that is calibrated in millimeters of mercury. During blood pressure measurement, the unit must be kept upright on a flat surface and a gauge read and eye level. And for you to have an idea on how we can use this, let me show you a video. Net brand swig manometer mercurial. Checking blood pressure is one of the doctor's first steps prior to any investigations. Swig manometer is a device which is used to measure blood pressure. It consists of an inflatable cuff, a measuring unit, the mercury manometer, and a mechanism for inflation bulb with valve. Manual swig manometer is used in conjunction with a stethoscope to take the blood pressure accurately. Make the person sit down on a table where it is easy to rest the arm in a position where the elbow is parallel to the heart. Wrap the cuff around the upper middle arm. Locate the pulse and place the diaphragm of the stethoscope. Now deflate the air release valve. on the swig manometer by turning it clockwise. Inflate the rubber bulb by compressing and releasing the bulb rapidly until you hear no sounds coming through the stethoscope. Inflate the cuff to 180 mmHg. Now deflate the cuff by releasing the valve slowly in counterclockwise direction. Blood will begin to flow through the artery again. Carefully listen for the first sounds and watch the reading on the gauge. This is person's systolic pressure. Gradually, the sounds will become lighter and then fade away completely. That point is the person's diastolic pressure. Now we have a reading of the person's blood pressure. Naran Medical offers Swigmanometer Mercurial Test Model with 300 mm Hg complete inflation system in an aluminium case. For more information, you may log on to www.narang.com or www.surgicalshop.com. Okay, so that is the video about a BP apparatus mercurial spigmo manometer. Next, we have the digital. Ayan. So, uh, digital spigmo manometer. Ayan. So, without using our hands and without um, using so many, many uh, time. Ayan. Ayan. For us to not waste our time. Uh, ayan. Ayan. So, digital is more uh, better. A digital unit is a mercury free and consists of a cup that can be applied with one hand for self testing. Ayan. So, nakikita nyo manually. Ayan, mabibilang at makikita na niya. Ayan, yung pressure ng isang tao. Ayan. So, next is stethoscope. So, have you guys tried to use a stethoscope? If not, here is the video on how will you use it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put a stethoscope on the right way. Hey, hey, what's up guys? Nurse Jenny here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put on a stethoscope the correct way. When I first started nursing school, 
I can remember being given a stethoscope and, you know, off I was taking blood pressures, but no one actually told me how to put it into my ears correctly. If they did, I don't remember it. So this is probably why I think I probably did it wrong for two years. So when someone actually told me how to do it properly, not only was it an aha moment, but I could hear it so much better. If you're like me into all things nursing, consider subscribing. And if you found this video at all helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Let's get into the video. So when someone friendly told me how to actually put these into my ears, because I've been doing it wrong for such a long time, they told me to hold it up, hold the stethoscope up and look at the ear tips. They should be pointing away from you, almost like a cat nose. Meow. So these binaurals are shaped that way, they're anatomically shaped to fit your ear canals. So that's why you want to always put them into your ears the right way, because if you put them in this way, not only will it hurt, but you won't be hearing anything because it's pointing backwards, your ear canals are pointing forward. So if you have the right size ear tips, these ear tips come with three different sizes, so you can choose to your liking what fits you best. And you can also, you know, adjust the tension like that, or pull away, or you know, you can pull these a little bit if you, if you want to. And then when you put them into your ears, they should fit snug. It should be like an earplug. It should take away all other noise, and all you can hear is what you're listening to through the stethoscope. So if you ever see a junior nurse um, wearing it the wrong way, please correct them in a nice way because the nurse who corrected me probably thought I was an idiot for using it wrong that whole time. And if you also have a junior nurse coming to you saying they can't hear this patient's blood pressure, um, ask them what stethoscope they are using. They might be using one of the cheap ones. You can't hear anything with those. Uh, and also ask them how, they put, how they're putting the stethoscope into their ears because they might be putting it in that way and they can't hear a thing. And it'll save you a trip to that patient to double check and the uh, junior nurse will have learned a lesson. So putting a stethoscope into your ears may seem pretty basic and pretty obvious but I speak from personal experience when I say that people get it wrong all the time. Thanks for watching my video, I'll see you in the next one and remember Listen with your heart. So we're putting a step. <laughs> <laughs>
So, blender. Paano natin siya ginagamit? Our coffee maker, ayan. So, paano din siya ginagamit? So, these things, um, ayan. If we are able to know them and identify them, ayan. We should know also on how we can use them properly. Ayan. For those tools na mga nabanggit, ayan. For this, uh... Um, lesson to make it short, ayan. For us to know the tools and equipment, ayan, we need to learn them properly. We need to study and learn yung mga um, uh, circumstances na mangyayari if wala yung mga bagay na yun. Ayan. So, um, I hope you learned something from me. I am Teacher Bina and thank you for listening.